Good evening, family. Welcome back to Harvest Ministries. Originally used to be at Gina's place. Um, so if you pull up one and you, it doesn't come, my video doesn't come up, you can go to at Gina's place and it should pull up. I want to welcome everybody back for it is January 24th, Monday night. Um, and I want to get this message out because the Most High gave this to me today around 12 during my prayer time. So it's not long, it's kind of short and to the point. But I want to start out with saying um, to stay focused on um, his blessings and his healings and his deliverance is coming. Stay focused and be prepared of what's coming in the springtime. Um, just know he's there. He's holding our hands and guiding us. Just believe that. Make sure we're walking close to him. Make sure that um, we're walking in his word and stay focused on his Ten Commandments that he has in, um, I think it's in Exodus 20. Yeah, it's Exodus 20. Just those things. So let's just pray and give honor and saying hallelujah and thank you, Father, for all he's done to this point, even though we see so much negativity on a daily, weekly basis. Um, Father, we come to you this evening to say thank you again, once again, that we see another day that we have not seen. We want to come to you and pray for the entire globe, Father. We see what's happening. We know you're moving by your spirit, by your judgment, and the things that is written. We believe you, we stand on your um, word, and that your word will not go out void. We thank you that all have the ability to come in um, and surrender. And we're praying right now for the lost souls that are out there um, and don't know you or know partial of you. They have not been taught right. We pray for the churches and that many come out because the church is not they're corrupt. They're not doing what they're supposed to do at this point. Um, so we're praying for the sick, and you know who those are. We're praying for their blessings. We're pr praying that they repent from all. Father, we, we are praying for the needy. Father, we're praying that this word go out and land on good, solid ground. And if they believe not, that they just get in prayer and do some fasting build a relationship with you by listening to your voice. They, you can hear his voice by praying and fasting on a regular basis, like daily and not just once or twice a week. Building that relationship like you would build with a wife or a girlfriend or next door neighbor that you guys can just be able to get along well. So this is the type of relationship that you must have with, with the Most High. He will speak to you and give you all answers in due time. We thank you for everything in your precious holy name. Amen. Okay, family. So, in my prayer time, he gave me this. Um, and I didn't really pick out a, a scripture for this this evening. But I do want to say this. And I want to give it to you tonight. He said, spring will be rough. But we will get through it. So this is a second or third time he's talking about the spring. And I don't know a month, but I know spring starts in what? March, April, May. So we have three months of it. Family, have everything in your house for the three days of darkness, for this upcoming situation is out there um, with Russia and China. Just be prepared, family. Even if you have to go to the dollar store Whatever you have to do, do the best that you can. Just know this, if you can't get certain things, get on your knees and pray that God will send someone your way to help bless you because they are people are there and they just don't know. So they, you have to reach out through your prayers and God will bless you. Okay, so let's start off. It says, spring will be rough, but we will get through it. Hold my hand. I'm there. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm there for you. <clears throat> Blessings through the night. Some will rise up. 
<clears throat> so he's talking to a particular people when he says this. Blessings through the night. Sun will rise up. He said, my blessings will rise up. Captains will move ahead. He said, time to see the other side of earth. These are a special group of people that's going to be able to see this. He said, your movements, your practices will begin soon. I can't say but so much because you know how they are. So these are a group of people, okay? He said, hold to it. I will divide the group for teaching. It will be tedious but easy with powers. Much to learn. My chosen will be great and mighty. He said, fire baptized. Okay, we're still talking about a group of people, right? Okay. Teachers to teach you much. He said, they are big captains and leaders, and they are there to teach you. He said, I've shown many over the years. They are aware. So during these years, over the years, sometimes probably way back as being a teenager or whatever, you've had certain dreams, certain um, things that you've been seeing over and over and over and over and over. So he's embedded that into your spirit. So you should have a, an, an idea. Those people should have an, an idea um, of what they're going to be doing. We praise God for that. Hallelujah. He said, just be ready to go for practice. He said, leaps and bounds will many take. He said, much love through your adventure. So this kind of took threw me off a loop when he said, meet and have fun. He said, but serious plans. He said, pay attention and you will learn much. So this group of people, you understand what he's saying? I will divide in groups for teaching and it will be tedious but easy with powers. Much to learn. My chosen will be great and mighty. Fire baptized. But he began by saying blessings through the night. He had told me before he was going to come during the night time um, and get his people and start training. Um, he said some will rise up. He said my blessings will rise up. And then he went goes into saying captains will move ahead. They're going to be leaders, guys. He said, time to see the other side of earth. Your movements, your practices will begin soon. He's a hold to it. I will divide in groups for teachings. It will be tedious, but easy with powers. He said, much to learn, my chosen will be great and mighty, fire baptized. He said, teachers to teach you much. Captain and leaders are there to teach you. I've shown many over the years, they are aware. Just be ready to go for practice. Leaps and bounds will many take. He said, much love through your adventure. Meet and have fun, but serious plans. He said, pay attention and you will learn much. Family, take to that to him in prayer. Um, I know where I stand with it, so I am just elated that I have the opportunity to be able to share this with you. Um, and guys, for those who have been seeing much, because yesterday or day before yesterday, I read a comment um, on social media that this guy had been shown things for years and there were some other comments way back you know within the last six months or so where people was just you know spilling out their inner side inside what um, the Lord has been showing them and sh showing them what they wouldn't be doing and the powers thereof with the fire baptized so family thank you for your time thank you for listening please um, click on the subscribe button please hit the like button and leave some like a little comment it doesn't have to really be anything at all just some just one word saying hello or whatever so this um, these videos can get to moving and reach a lot of people because he told me that 
he knows that a lot of us are ready to go. However, there's still more coming and we cannot leave them. If we, if he just leave them, then he could have left us because he could have came a long time ago. My God, he's a long suffering God. I mean, we have to go through to get to learn to know his walk and his path and just know it's very narrow. So stay focused. Read his word on a daily basis, family. Pray more than one time daily, family. Pull up those commandments on how what he how he wants us to live and love our neighbor and <clears throat> not commit adultery. It is just a lot. So that's why I go to Exodus um, 20 because it goes into detail. But some people just think that they can just be saved and that's it. That is more to it than that. That's just one scripture. There are many scriptures in there. Romans, the whole book of Romans can explain a lot to you. But if, as, as you're reading his word, you're going to see that it's just more than just being saved. Okay. So I know this. I don't have heaven or hell to put anybody in. Nobody. Only he has the grace and mercy to allow you in. He's going to look at your heart and whatever else. He's going to also ask you, what deeds have you done? What have you done for him? Have you read his word? Family, you better read that word because, you know, people can't tell you everything. Even the pastors, they can't tell you everything because they have messed up over the years. They held things back and they don't have people on track. They are not ready for his return. So now they're scrambling or they're in a position the church is lost. They're just sitting there and they're thinking that the other side is like messed up. Um, but the only thing I can do for them is pray. You can tell them once or twice. If they don't hear you, keep moving and just pray for them. You can't beg anybody. God don't want nobody in his kingdom that don't want him. No, that's not the way he works. So family, stay focused. Stay safe. Stay protected through his word. Keep his armor on. Make sure you keep your house anointed. Keep yourself anointed for all this stuff that's going on. Keep your oil in your car, in your purse, and in your home whenever you need it. Make sure you get up and anoint yourself. Even if you don't do it then, do it when you think about it because you may be at work or you may be out at the store. That's why I say keep it in your purse, keep it in your car, keep it close where you can get to it. You never know who you may walk by and you may need it and what they're trying to pass off on you. Family, stay focused. Love you much. Have a great night. Bye.